Honestly, I'm just turning my camera on and just talking because I need to. Like, it's this is pretty much like my only venting outlet. <laughs> it's like the internet. Usually, I do it on Facebook though. Like, I'm so tired of writing like the same thing over and over. But I feel like it's a whole different dynamic when I actually like talk it out. And plus, I need to like pr actually practice speaking it out because I don't vent to anybody in person. I mean, I have, like, I could probably count on one hand, like, how many times I've ever actually vented to somebody in person. Because, like, it's just really extremely uncomfortable for me. With, like, a history of, like, severe anxiety. Now, what I'm really talking about is just, well, pretty much anxiety now. Like, I don't really suffer with it as nearly as badly as I used to, because it used to be, like, chronic. But now it's more so, well, now it's more, like, situational, like being in front of a crowd and having to give a speech, or... I mean, for me, it's being trapped in a car, or as a passenger, in a, being a passenger in a car for, like, in a ride that's more longer than, like, five minutes, and then I get, like, really antsy, and, like... I try to combat it by, like, going... Like, on long-distance trips, like, a couple times, and, like, that, those did not end well. Actually, my very last one was two years ago. Like, I'm, I'm really very good at hiding my suffering, in person anyway. Online, I just blab it right out, but in person, I'm really good at hiding my suffering, usually. But, yeah, on this car road, or road trip, like, I ended up busting out in tears, like, without warning, <laughs> like, it was a mess. But anyway, to, usually I've been pretty good, but around this time, I've just been very stressed out lately, because I just have a lot going on. I mean, not, like, stressful situations so much, it's just a lot of stuff I have to do. There's, my to-do list is full, like, I'm constantly... I'm constantly moving. There are always things to do. Like, I don't understand people who like constantly talk about how bored they are and how like they never have anything to do. It's like, open your eyes. <laughs> it's like, how do you not see all these things? Like, or I don't know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of a workaholic. Like, I create eight jobs, or I guess I kind of see jobs that no one else sees. It's kind of like. I think that falls into like my personality, that whole INFJ thing, like the Myers-Briggs personality. Like I have the eyes of a hawk, so whenever something needs to be taken care of, I notice it from like miles away, and I'm like the first person to notice it, and then I get frustrated. And because I'm an introvert, I'm not naturally inclined to delegate things, so I usually end up doing everything myself because well, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> and like, I feel like it's more, or it's much less stressful for me to just do the thing myself than it would be for me to train an individual how to do the thing correctly. So it just adds more stress. I don't know how to get all over that. Almonds I'm eating, by the way. But yesterday at work, well, it's just been like a really, really hectic weekend. I was constantly on the move, and I'm a horrible sleeper. So like literally like every night I wake up every single hour or two. I mean, usually I fall right back to sleep, but still like it's, it's disturbed sleep. <gasps> Excuse me. I never, hardly ever get like that deep, what is that, the delta stage of sleep? Or like the REM cycle. I'm an extremely light sleeper. And as a result, I'm fatigued, like... All of the time. Except for when the moment my head hits the pillow at night. Which is very frustrating. Because like, I don't get my first wind, my first wind of the day, until my head hits the pillow at night. It's really frustrating. Usually that's when people get their second wind, but that's when I get my first wind. Because I'm like fighting off sleep all day long because I have stuff to do and it's just really frustrating 
Well, today at work, or no, before, like when I woke up, I had my alarm set for nine. And I woke up, I don't even know what my alarm clock it sounds like, honestly, because I'm, I always wake up before it. So I was up probably like 8.45, but I just had my eyes closed until like whatever, waiting for my alarm, then finally, I just checked my phone just to see if anybody had messaged me or anything. And then like the little blue light flashed. I'm like, oh, who's this? And it was my manager saying, like the weather's kind of meh. So like come in an hour later than you're scheduled. It's like, or 11.30. I was supposed to go in at 10.30 today, but I ended up not going in until 11.30. So I got to sleep in a little, or like an extra hour, which really was kind of pointless because I was already awake and it didn't matter that I only got a few hours of sleep. It's just like, I cannot fall back asleep ever. Once I'm awake. And it's one of those, I call them like stress comas. I don't really know what the technical term is, but it's where like you just, it's extremely hard to get out of bed. And now like if you know me like at all, well before I was sick, like I, ever since I was a kid, I have always been a morning person. Like, as soon as my eyes would pop open, I'd be like, ah, life, let's go do things, I'm excited. And I would be, like, very, like, peppy, and I would have to calm myself down so I wouldn't annoy other people who weren't morning people. But ever since getting sick with whatever this junk is, it's, <sighs> Like, I am not a morning person, I'm not a night person, I'm not even a midday person, like, I'm not even a person. <laughs> I'm just a big ball of fatigue. But anyway, yes, the whole reason why I turned the camera on, I think it's frustrating because I had a panic attack at work because of like all this junk. I was so like overwhelmed and my body was just completely fatigued, like down to the bones. So I'm like dragging my feet everywhere. Then I got to go to work and then shortly after I came into work, we, the lunch rush began. It wasn't a horrible rush, but like just being constantly bombarded with, um, like the customers. Like when you're in this type of condition, when you're already like weak, it's this extreme sensory overload because all of a sudden you have to put on a, well, when you're suffering like this, like you have to put on a front and um, help the customers out, be a kind individual and like be energetic. So I was like, it was really tough today to try to put on that face because I felt horrible on the inside and my peppermint oil wasn't helping at all. I mean, thankfully I was able to work through it. Typically I'm able to do that, but like it has to be, like I have to have like short breaks. So like if it's just like all of a sudden customers to the door for like two hours and then I have to be like the one introducing them, be like, hey, how's it going? Welcome. Like the introductory person then like I'm gonna have some issues <laughs> because I won't have a break. But if it's just like a few people here or like a big family here and then once I'm taking care of them, then like I can breathe for a few seconds or even like a minute or so, then I can regain my faculties <laughs> and get back in the show. So like with little breaks, I can overcome. And thankfully it was like that today, but uh, it was horrible. <laughs> it was it's just, it's so frustrating because this happens to me like all the time now, especially that I just have so much going on constantly. I never have time to breathe. And even when I have days off, like every once in a while I'll have like a whole day off, I will be in bed till like at least noon and I will just be sitting around my house or laying down pretty much all day. And then next thing I know, it's like midnight. And like, I haven't done anything all day, but like the days just rush by. It's like my brain, it's constantly, constantly like rolling and rolling. It's like when people tell me they're bored, I'm like, how do you have time to be bored? Like if I have a two hour break between things, I mean like, that's nothing to me. That's like a blink of an eye. <laughs> like, my brain just moves that fast. Oh, but today, like, when I have those episodes, 
It's like everything outside is moving fast forward, but inwardly, it's slow motion. Like, I cannot think. I know for a fact, like, some customers were giving me strange looks because, like, my brain couldn't process what was going on. Like, they'll order, like, just, like, a simple, like, specific thing off the menu, and then, like, I would completely forget, like, what's on that or, like, forget what they said and, and the, or, like, forget what to say next. Like, and then the position I was in, like, you have to be quick. I'm like, hey, da da da. But, like, when I'm in this condition, it's like, ah. And also, since you're right in front of the people, I didn't want to just casually go over to the person next to me and be like, hey, let's switch. Like, it's, I just don't want customers to question and be like, why didn't one though? Why didn't he want to help me? It's because I'm black? No. <laughs> you know, it's just like stuff like that. I might be overthinking it, but still, it's like, in the moment, you just don't know what to do. And plus, I am a fighter, because since I've been dealing with stuff like this for so long, I mean, even anxiety, like, for over 21 years, like, you just learn to fight, because there's no other option. I don't want to just sit around and be a nobody in my house, like, comfortable. As long as I'm comfortable. It's like, I want to live my life. I don't want to just sit there. And... I hate it. I hate it so much. It feels like I'm going to pass out or vomit, even though I've never actually done any of those things as a result of this. But then I, then like the thought enters my head, well, what if this time I do? <laughs> it's, oh, slap me across the face. I don't know. I do kind of think some of it's medical related. Because I don't exercise. I've never had, like, a good constant exercise. I've tried so many times to start, like, creating a exercise habits. Because I know that would help a lot. But it's like life just gets so busy. And I get, I get so bogged down. And plus, I'm so tired all the time. And it's just, it never sticks. <laughs> no matter how many times... And I've tried so many different things, like rollerblading and walking and running, but now with walking and running, it's... It can't be t too cold. Well, right now it's winter, I don't want to go outside. Especially when there's ice on the ground. It's like, it has to be the perfect temperature, and it can't be too hot, because I do not do well in heat. Like, it's just... Bleh. It agitates this situation. <sighs> I'm getting all tense stuff right now, just thinking about it. <laughs> but... I don't know. I'm surprised that this video is 13, over 13 minutes right now, because I feel like I haven't even shared a single thing. It doesn't even, I, f I feel like I've been sitting here for two minutes, like not even joking. I don't know. It's weird. I just had to get it off my chest. Because, uh, I don't know. I can't talk like this in person. Like whenever I see the whites of people's eyes, like, my mind just goes blank. <laughs> like, I have never met a single person where, like, I can look into their eyes and not feel a sense of panic. It's like, I've had that problem all my life. Like, I just can't look in people's eyes. Cause there's just a panic sensation. Like, even with people I've known for years, there's just that, I can't do it, I have to look away. I don't know. I feel like a psychopath sometimes. But I don't know, I love people, so. <laughs> Ironically. I, I really do love people. It's, But my body doesn't. And mentally, I can handle a lot of stress. I have a very, very high stress tolerance mentally. But physically, my body's like, uh-uh. You need to go lay down all day long for the rest of your life. I'm like, I ain't dead yet, boo. Do I look dead? No. I'm very alive up here, but like my body's like dead. And those two don't really mix very well. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm just frustrated. You understand? You get me? I can't even look at the camera straight. I'm probably looked oh, so far away from the camera so many times. I don't know, but this video is way too long. 
I just wanted to say something, but I don't know. I love you guys. Peace out.